What up, y'all? It's your guy Dawson from D&D TV. Thank you for rating, commenting, and subscribing. Everybody who's donated, those of you all who will, also go over to my other YouTube channel, Dawson Speaks TV. Make sure you subscribe over there and uh, click that notification bell so you get notifications when I drop a new video. Now, let's get into this topic. This story comes out of Melvin, Alabama. Many people in the community of Melvin, Alabama are mourning the death of a pastor who was shot and killed in his home. His wife was also injured in the shooting. According to local authorities, an 18-year-old woman has been arrested in connection with the shooting death of the Alabama pastor. Chautauqua County Sheriff Scott Lowley told local news sources that Melissa Hill, 18 years old, turned herself in and is being charged with both murder and attempted murder in connection with the murder of Pastor Tim Pearson in Melvin, Alabama. Now, for those of you who don't know, Melvin is a small rural community in West Alabama, one mile from the Alabama-Mississippi line. The young woman who is being charged, Melissa Hill, has a bond that is set at $1,050,000. Pastor Tim Pearson led the Mount Moriah Baptist Church in Melvin, Alabama for 14 years. One of Pastor Pearson's relatives said that First Lady Pearson was also injured in the shooting, but now she is in the hospital in stable condition. The investigation is still ongoing and there are no further details available at this time. Now I'm going to let you all watch this video and I'll be back with the rest of my commentary. And you all know me, I'm Dawson and I won't hold back. Residents in Choctaw County, Alabama, are mourning the loss of a longtime pastor after he was shot and killed early this morning. New Center 11's Brianna Bynum was in Melvin, Alabama today. She has more. Crime scene tape now surrounds the home of Pastor Kim Pearson after he was shot and killed in Choctaw County Friday morning. A family member says his wife was also injured but is now in stable condition. Pearson served as pastor at the Mount Moriah Baptist Church for 14 years. Residents we spoke with, including Deacon Cornelius Banks, say they're heartbroken. He's like a drawing. He would draw you to him by what he believed in and He's helped me out a whole lot uh, as in the spiritual realm of things. Uh, he strengthened me. Who would do this to this beloved family? Sheriff Scott Lolly wouldn't say if there's a suspect on the radar, but says the department is working to solve the case. Banks says the community remains in shock, but finds comfort through faith, an act that Pearson was known to preach about. You are still on the throne. And you are still in charge. But God is still in charge. He's, he's in control of our lives. And we must look uh, and keep a positive attitude even in the midst of this, this terrible tragedy. The county coroner says foul play is suspected. In Melvin, Brianna Bynum, New Center 11. Thanks, Brianna Bynum. I'll take it from here. Now, first of all, I want to give my condolences out to the pastor's family, his church, and his friends, the community there in Melvin, Alabama. Also to First Lady Pearson, I am praying that she has a speedy recovery. This is a sad situation and it, it, it definitely has taken everybody in that community by shock. Now, I also want to say this as well. The young woman, Melissa Hill, 18 years old, has turned herself in. She turned her own self in. She is being charged with murder and attempted murder. Now, according to the local authorities, they said that this is an ongoing investigation and there are no further details at this time. That's what they said. Now, when I did my research on this story, I looked at a lot of people on social media, people who were commenting under the, uh, the news reporter, Brianna Bynum. She posted something on her social media page and a lot a lot of people were going after the news network and people were commenting saying, oh, you know, maybe he had a relationship with this 18 year old or, you know, maybe it was the 18 year old. She had a boyfriend and the boyfriend made her do this. This was a robbery. Maybe the 18 year old woman, you know, she was mentally ill. Also, there was someone who commented and said, you know, this young lady killed her boyfriend's dad. So I don't know if she was dating Pastor Pearson's son. We don't know yet. We're waiting for everything to come out because the investigation is still ongoing. There are many people who say she didn't act alone. Oh, people are trying to figure out why this happened. Now, you all heard what I said. We don't know. 
The investigation is still ongoing and there are no further details at this time. But let me say something to the people on social media. A lot of people, I guess, who are in that Mel the community of Melvin, people who are family members and definitely church members who were on social media getting in the comments, attacking people who said, you know, there's what's the motive or there's more to the story. You know, people started attacking them. Let me say this to you all. You all can't stop people from having their own speculations about different things that are going on in the world. And this story is no different from that. That's what people do on social media. You can't stop people from having an opinion. You can't stop people from speculating. That's what people do on social media. Now, like I said, the investigation is ongoing, but people in the community of Melvin and around now are going to talk about this situation because they're going to want to know why this 18 year old woman shot this pastor and injured his wife they they want to know we want to know yeah we're gonna pray we want everything to work out for the wife and this is a sad situation but people still want to know and many of you all get on social media you attack people for saying you know there's more to the story all people are saying is there's got to be more to the story and they're jumping in the comments attacking them you can't i mean you could do whatever you want to do but you can't stop us from talking about it you can't stop us from asking questions now I'm going to go ahead and get off of this because the people in those comments, reading those comments, I was like, get yeah, man, come on, man. People can ask questions. We can, I think there's more to it. And if anything comes out, I'm definitely going to do an update on this story. Now, look here. I'm going to leave you all with this. A woman who knew both Pastor Tim Pearson and Melissa Hill said this. Her daughter was really good friends with Melissa Hill. And I'm going to leave you all with this and I'm off the topic. This lady's name is Selena. And she said this. I've known Melissa all her life. She and my daughter were elementary school best friends. She used to stay at my house all the time. I can't imagine her doing this on her own just because. She was such a sweet, beautiful, respectful, and talented young lady. She had so much potential and now her life is ruined forever. My heart breaks for her. With that being said, I feel so much sorrow for the Pearson family. I knew Pastor Tim Pearson and I knew he was a godly man and helped many people. I hate that this happened, but I have sympathy for both sides. The true story may never be known, but I believe she wasn't alone in planning and carrying out this tragic act. I pray for all involved on both sides. Now, I'm going to leave you all with that. Until next time, it's your guy Dawson. Y'all take care of yourself and each other. Go off in the comments about this. And again, my condolences go out to the church, the family, and friends of Pastor Tim Pearson. And we pray that First Lady Pearson has a speedy recovery. Take care.